Hello, Western Oregon sports fans, and welcome to this edition of Wolves Weekly. Joining me in the studio today, we have head volleyball coach Brad Sandin. Brad, we want to talk a little bit about this Hawaii trip, but the fact that you went to Hawaii last week, we didn't get a chance to catch up with you a little bit. Uh, we have, want to make sure we get a chance to talk about this WU Invitational that we had here. Great tournament, six teams here, very quality tournament to start off the year. Yeah, we were uh, really happy to be able to host this tournament and be at home. Uh, and as you said, we had really quality competition. I think four of the teams, uh, four of the six teams that were here were receiving votes in the national poll. Uh, so I thought the level of play in our gym was great. Uh, we were able to uh, beat Cal State LA, very, very important match for us because they're an in-region opponent that's uh, one of the top schools in our region. Uh, we beat Missouri Science and Technology. They were receiving vo votes in the national poll. Uh, we beat Florida Southern, also receiving votes in the national poll, and we had a, uh, a, a just a knockdown battle with Grand Valley State. Uh, they beat us in five, but we were within one point, or, you know, to, of beating those guys. So, all in all, it was a terrific tournament uh, for us developmentally, uh, and it was great to to bring those teams to Monmouth. It was really exciting to get to watch those matches too. I just want to say, in that first one against Cal State LA, won five. Last one, the Grand Valley State went five, exciting all the way through, one on both sides. But the other one was, this last week, you were able to go over to Hawaii. You get to face a couple more in-region opponents, all three of them being in the Pac-West Conference. We actually have an opportunity today to have a special guest in studio, the senior outside hitter, Dan, Danny Reese. I wanted a chance to just talk to her about a little bit of that Hawaiian road trip. You went over there, went two and one, and got to see some really good competition. So how are you doing today, Danny? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. Well, I just want to talk to you a little about the opportunity to see some of these opponents in region ones, but people that you don't get to see every year. I'm sure you don't want to say get sick of seeing those GNAC opponents, but you've seen everybody twice. Just talk to us a little bit about some of these matches you did. Specifically, let's talk, start off with the Hawaii Pacific match that you had over there. Well, yeah, we just traveled to Hawaii and we ended up being 2-1 and one, and we played HPU first and then Shamada and both were really good matches. Um, they were hard, but we played really well together as a team and we started finally coming together and putting all the pieces together offensively and defensively. So it was really nice for us to connect together. And then we play, played BYU, which um, they're ranked 16th right now and they're really a great team and it was really fun to play them and watch us rise up and play with them. And uh, I wish we could have taken it to a few more games with them, but it was fun to play them, that's for sure. Talk to me a little bit. You talked about the offense coming together and pieces coming into place right there. Talk to me a little bit about your setter, Leslin Satelli. I know head coach Brad Sandin mentioned a little bit after that match when we talked just about how Leslin maybe had her best setting match and how it was really allowing you and others outside hitters, the middle blockers, and everybody to start flowing and getting the offensive rhythm back together. So putting the pieces together, we have our middles and our right sides um, really involved in our offense now and it takes a little pressure off of our outside hitters where um, when we get set now, the, their other, the other team's blockers aren't always just waiting on us because they're not sure where the ball's going anymore. And it's just really nice to have a quick offense. And our middles are doing really good by putting the ball away. And Lesson and Jordan have done a fabulous job working really hard to make sure everybody's involved on our offense. It was nice to see that rhythm come together. And actually, Danny gave me the perfect transition right there. Coach Sandy, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it. We love to see that you've had those two setters on the floor this year. You're playing a little bit different style than having one setter out there the whole time. But talk to me about the fact that Leslin and Leslin Satelli and Jordan Ramos are both from Hawaii. They had an opportunity to go back home and play in front of some friends and family this weekend. Yeah, you know, we, uh, we went to Hawaii because I kind of promised my seniors in particular that we would go to Hawaii one time. So uh, it, it, it was kind of in honor of them. But a big side of benefit was both Les Lynn and Jordan got to go back home. Uh, it's not very often that their families get a chance to see them play. So it was really fun to have, uh, we had more fans in the stands than the opponents did. We had all of Les Lynn's family and all of Jordan's family. Uh, the Chaminade match, I counted 47 Satellis that were there. So it seemed like the whole Satelli clan was there at the match and it was kind of a family reunion. And, we had kind of a big barbecue after the match, so you know all the, st the the volleyball matches themselves were great, but all the other stuff that we were able to do in Hawaii, especially with Les Lynn and Jordan being uh, Hawaii natives, it was uh, uh, kind of capped off the whole experience for us. Well, fantastic! That was your second to last week of non-conference -conf competition. You guys will this week play 
Willamette at home and then Walla Walla at home on Wednesday and then Friday. We're going to actually get a chance to come back in the studio to talk with both you and Danny Reese again to kind of get a little bit of a GNAC preview. That'll start the following week, and the, but want a chance to get to talk to you while we have you guys around. So just want to say Brad and Danny, thank you very much for taking time to join us in the studio today, and thank you all for watching this edition of Wolves Weekly.